since they came in and mangled my playground with tons and tons of concrete, I think I'm going to start right here and move some of this stuff. I can't remember. That looks like a piece of a toy. It is. It is a bottom of a the tractor trailer, a little car hauler maybe. So we'll harvest that. We'll move some of these to get some flow, slow and low, since that's the tempo. I don't know, I wonder if I should start low and work my way up. That way, I can really see them bones, them bones, them big bones. See, I'm putting all these rocks right now. Right there. Oh, that's fresh. That's a whole hunk of created con. I thought I stacked two rocks together right there. I guess that wasn't me. I thought that was some leftover from our past play dates out here. But it wasn't. I'm looking around. I'm trying to get the bev of the whole thing. That's a BEV, that's a bird's eye view. You need that before you just start going pig wild doing stuff. And to stop the ripples, you don't need anything touching the top of the water. Like that. And then when you leave, you put all the rocks back in. Otherwise, press 9 to continue. I want to tell you about a video in a minute, but I need to look up the exact title of it. This guy's nuts. He's kind of cool though. Although he may have sent it to me privately, so. That is off an electrical box. I forget what the D stands for. Double D, triple D, square D. Grandiose. It could be grandiose. That's grand three, right? Right here was a real good spot that had a lot of cool things before. But it's a lot of a lot of ripleys, believe it or not, going on on top of the water. That was a bird that almost that tried to come down here and bathe, but I ended that when it saw me. So we'll start right here then. Because this top layer of clay hides some things away. It looked like a corn, but it wasn't. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll start down here because the clay looks like it moves pretty easily. Oh, yeah, it does. That means there's stuff under it. It's interesting seeing these worms that I lost. 
in the water because I did not know that the worms just totally live underwater like that, even though I've seen a lot of them. I thought they just fell in and were having a bad day. But I found them a pretty good bit now. And, uh, they're alive and doing quite well. I guess they have gills, I don't know. We'll start right here. Since there's pretty good flow. See, it just lifts up. And there's always something cool underneath it. Even if it's clay, where you can ride stuff. What do you think? I think we're gonna turn up a coin. Turn up some coins. Yeah, we'll get a coin out of here in a minute. Watch. I should have put on some new gloves because these have a hole right in the end. There's a little breeze so it's hard to see. Okay, we gotta do some dragging. Let's turn this out of here. It's a little deeper than I had anticipated. If I can get a good hole down in here, then we'll start finding things. When you get down to the black dirt in the bottom of this, then you're getting down to the uh, 60 to, the, to 100 year old stuff. That is a key off an old meter on a house, electrical meter, I believe. You know what I got to thinking about? When we were in school, and when you were in school, and you used to pass notes, you did it by folding up a piece of paper really small and kind of sliding it from person to person. Kids don't get to do that now. Because of texting. So they're missing out, right? I don't see a coin in there, do you? I 
I don't think we're deep enough. I'm gonna drag a bunch out of here, then we'll start them. We'll only try this spot a few more minutes. Cause I really thought that it would be the spot we needed to be at. Get my legs out of the way so I can get the flow right. I don't see a coin yet. see the bottom though. Well, I'm down to the clay anyway. Hey, where'd you come from? That's a mighty fine looking spoon. Imperial. Stainless china. Ooh, harvest. See, that's a good sign. That's been down here a while. So, if I could get all this out of here, or at least moved, So when I do my swishing, everything goes away. What is that, a button? Nope, knockout. That needs to go away far so we don't get tricked again. I switched that little hole real hard. But look, I came back up in here. There's a decorative spoon with some flowers. That's a good cereal spoon. See, even over in here, I need to so many spots I don't know where to focus 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 all right I don't see anything obvious in there but I know there's stuff in there so let's let's go back up here and check the shallows maybe something interesting has just settled right in here since the last time we came
not a single coin in there. Coin button, nothing. I gotta move some rock. Try right here. This is just preliminary searches. This is pretty clear, you'll be able to see right here. It's like a earthly made etch a sketch. Sweep all the junk away and see what's in there. Look at that square now. That's not a square now, it's straight. Okay, this looks like a good little spot. It's tiny, but I got a feeling. Copper, iron, lead, stainless steel. Hmm. No coins. Unless we get deeper. The only way to do that is to switch all the trash from around the rocks. And that way the rocks lift up. I guess my feeling was no good. There's no uh, coins in there. There's one. There's a coin. I think it's a standard issue library. It is. It's like you're waving to the dirt on the bottom. Just to say hello. Twenty two short. This is a good spot for real teaching moment for kids for no no crack left behind. So we'll keep going. No crack left behind. 
no matter how small the crack, you gotta swish it. It is half a baton. We will harvest. We'll read it later. Oh, our sun's going away. Mr. Sun. Sun. Mr. Golden Sun. Oh, good. This rock is loose. Now it's about to get serious. Roofing now with a lead top. I've found about four or five mercury dams in here doing this in the past. Those are days that are gone. Just like this video, it's time you'll never get back. And I see a coin that I missed a second ago. It don't matter what you're doing. Sorry, I keep having to stand up. It doesn't matter what you're doing. It's time you're never gonna get back. Ah, oh, it's the library. But we missed it, didn't we? Or you may have seen it and not told me. You gotta tell me if I miss a coin. I think you can see about as good as I can. I mean, that's getting down into 60 years on right there. We'll do this one, and then this one, since we washed everything in there. I see stainless. <sighs> oh, that one's stuck in the end of my finger. That right there, stuck right there. But it's an MBS, it's a no bleed zone, so I'm good. Even if I sport a little bleed. It's okay because I've had the Tetani series. Standard issue library. Three. Well, we've paid for that one short, 22 short, right? If that rock right there would come out, oh my goodness. We're in the zone now, especially if this one would come out. 
Dismantling city creeks, one rock at a time. What do you think's under that rock? That rock's been there. The base of this was laid roughly a hundred years ago. True, stuff could have went under there. It made its way underneath that rock five years ago, but still, right? Looks like they're all moving. All the big rocks, that's good. The finger's having issues. I don't hear anybody. Y'all still watching? Or do I leave? Go leave a comment that says still watching right now. Then come back, let's finish. It's the only way I know if you're really here. According to the analytics, nobody watches my whole, <laughs> my whole videos. <laughs> but I don't know if I'd watch somebody do this either. I don't know, I probably would. I mean, cried if I'm in here getting addicted to seeing what's under that rock. Someone else might too, huh? No way, look. We're about to get serious. Now I gotta put all these back. Otherwise, the mayor of Jordantown will come in here and say, Dude, why you do that to my rock? I'm going to creep out there like that, boy. And I was just saying, man, it's just, have you been down there? Go see. Actually, the property owners that own both sides of the spot, I've talked to them about what I'm doing. And they cool. They're like, that's cool, whatever floats your boat, dude. Thing a weirdo. And then they walked away and talked about me for a few days. Yeah, there's some psychopath down there. Digging crap out of the bottom of the creek, whispering to himself. And this little plastic thing, he didn't have a phone. He talks with this piece of plastic. We're down there pretty deep now. I mean, I don't understand why we're not harvesting things of several moons ago. I could lean on this wall to rest my back a little bit, but it's uh, covered in ants. That's nice. Let me have to do a glove change and around other than the first one. So we got a piece of a car, a 22, a button, three libraries. You know what we could do before we finish this one? Oh yeah, we got two cool spoons and a trailer. 
Let's look in this hole that we switched out a second ago. And then we get to go. Ah, oh, you can't see. Still. You might could if I put you down in there, but then the camera gets all wet. So I'm done for right now. Thanks for watching my videos.